So now I am going to cover for each control flow activities. If you go here and just type for each control flow activities. So there is a for each under the control flow. So just go here in the design tab, create a new sequence that is for for each activity. Then click create. Okay. So here I am going to cover in a small demo of utilizing this for each activity. Okay. So let's say in in my project panel, and so I am going to keep my uh, uh, no a input notepad. So let's say that is a data, and here I have a same like uh, uh, some code. Okay, some code like D uh, one or two, comma D uh, two not nine, some codes like this. Okay. And uh, let's say this is all about like some kind of secret codes. Okay, some secret codes. Okay, so let's say these are some uh, secret codes. Okay, so now I'm going back here. Okay, and. Uh, go to activity panel so now i want to read my uh, text file first okay now i want to read my text file so drag and drop read text file and select your text file so here is a data and select it and click open so after reading my text file so where i want to store my uh, in uh, outputs so into a variable right then create a variable control k then this is uh, it's a secret code okay S E C R E T secret quotes. Okay, enter. Now there is a output secret quotes which is comes from the notepad. Okay, now go here into this for loop. Okay, for each drag and drop for each. So this for each. Okay, so this for each. This is also it's a looping. Uh, um, activity and uh, no, it will uh, execute until the collection gets over. So here, whatever we use, that is used, we use to say uh, collections. Okay. So here, we can iterate uh, collections uh, or list or arrays. So uh, even data table also we can iterate it here. Okay. And uh, so for the do, do while, we used to give a condition. Hey go on to do a repetitive I mean go on repeat uh, the task until uh, mm, this many times so that is a do while while but here it will uh, repeat uh, the, uh, the execution until the particular uh, array or you know, uh, list gets over okay that is the beauty of this for each loop and let's say so I have a input here now uh, we know that this for each can uh, we can loop through array and the list so i'm going to convert this entire text as a array so just to go to activity panel and drag and drop assign activity and uh, create a variable that is called convert array okay enter and here in the uh, in the value just use a function that is called uh, split okay open bracket and then uh, call your uh, uh, variable so that is a uh, secret uh, quotes okay then comma within double quotes again add comma because in our notepad so if you go here into our notepad so go to notepad and just refresh if you see here so all the values contains with the comma comma separated values okay so here just uh, no go to convert array go to variable panel and here change your variable type array of string so already so we covered in the previous session what is array and all right so now it's a very simple convert array so i can change this uh, activity name also okay then Go here and call your convert array 
okay that is that very simple and go to activity panel and drag and drop right line okay then call your current items or let's say i'm going to change it you know, according to my process i will remove this current item let's say secret code secret code okay enter and here i can call secret code this is secret codes and this is secret code okay let's execute this okay go to debug step into and click step into and step into now you see in the retex output it contains secret codes so all the codes like you no know, d102 e209 so the entire codes okay and uh, then so it's a uh, no it's uh, executed the uh, uh, converter a as an activity now you see it's converted seven strings that you can see d102 and there is a seven string in it okay then it will execute until this um, values gets over till ty435 it will execute the next time if you added um, a couple of more item into this notepad it will execute until that many times okay so let's execute see secret code printed here d102 and the secret code printed e209 and it's printed d 097 sf something like that it's printing till the secret code gets over from the list from the array okay that is the beauty of this for each okay so this for each we can use even you uh, know if you if you want to loop through uh, emails so email uh, will be stored into uh, list data type so then we can give uh, the email list here so let's say no you want to uh, read each and every email one by one and uh, from that email uh, you are going to find out some you know specific emails based on the subject that you can use this for each okay and that's all about for each activity and here i'm going to add one more uh, mm, new uh, activity so let's say here there is a break activity okay let me cover the break activity as well okay and uh, so let's say uh, in the condition of uh, go to project panel so here there are lot of uh, security code is available sorry secret codes are available right and uh, so i'm going to give instructions like hey if you found the secret code sf546 then exit the loop no need to go uh, to this and uh, no need to go uh, and execute these and all okay then how to do that how how to i want to get out uh, once that particular uh, condition is match okay then simple go on, go to activity panel and add a if conditions okay let's say if conditions and here if the secret code okay if the secret code equal to within double quotes hey if it is this one if you found this one come out how to come out what is the activity for come out then break activity okay drag and drop break activity here so if i add a break activity so that means uh, you can uh, you can you know assume that the codes are identified the what so no need to loop it again and again till the values gets over so that is and here if it is not identified it will loop until uh this condition is over so let's say here maybe i can give sometimes so yes sf small so for that what i can do so you can do or you can convert uh u case okay you can convert u case open bracket and uh, this that's it okay so even if it is uh, let's say here comma and uh, or else so let's say here something like a uh, self 546 and uh, 7 again so if it is is that will match no it will not match only this condition will match because we have given like this only okay so okay let's go here and uh, here i will print something like message box okay i will add message box to display our result hey come break it 
and uh, say uh, match is found or secret code is found. Secret code found. Okay, and here uh, if if I added here, it will uh, keep on saying secret code not found, not found. Leave it as it is. Okay. And if you want to get it uh, in the, as a final output, you can get it uh, through some uh, statement like boolean variable, true or false. Okay. Now I'm going to run this. Let's say uh, how many times these loops are going to execute. Okay. And step into and the read text, uh, text file activity execution done and it's so uh, you can see the all the codes here and step into and it's converted all the codes into array that is a nine string and you can see all the uh, values here and now the bot is going to pick from uh, each string i mean each value one by one from this convert array you can see from the convert array you can see nine values okay from this nine value and in the first iteration in the secret code it's stored d102 okay now it's taking 102 it's going inside and executing this secret code now you see it's printed 102 and step into now it checked here there is no match it means there is no secret code found in the first uh, uh, test i mean the first secret code then again it's uh, executing there is a second secret code e2 209 uh, no match and uh, so there is a another uh, secret code yes of five four uh, six seven there is no match and coming to uh, other secret code d097 no match and coming inside and again there is a yes of five four six there is a match okay there is a match but still how many items are there to uh, loop so after uh, this one yes sir for, there are three okay now the board here it's identified a secret code it's identified okay then it's coming out from the loop no need to uh, repetitive uh, repeat it repeat the action again and again because i found my code that's it okay and even if you are you know going to uh, replace this particular uh, values so here you see there is a SF546. Okay, it may be available in the front itself. Okay, here, and you delete this. Okay, so now if I run this bot, I mean, if I run this workflow, step into, and step into, you see it's converted the same nine, and you see in the first execution, and it stored a secret code SF546, and uh, yes, it's going inside the statement. It's found the secret code, then it's coming out. So through using this break activity, we can avoid um, uh, unwanted uh, loops here. Okay, unwanted repetitive action here. Okay, that's all about this break activity.